Hi, hi. Hello, hello. Good day, everyone. I am glad to be your science subject teacher. I know most of you are excited or scared in this new normal, but let us embrace it with positivity. Education is right, and your learning must continue. With this, I am Teacher John, and I'm happy to be your science teacher buddy as we explore, discover, and learn to understand that science is everywhere. Ready to join? Come on, join me as we reveal the beauty of science. Pause for a second and try looking at the things around you. Look at your television, your phone, your laptop, and even the drinking water and the air that you breathe. Have you ever asked yourselves what these things are made of? I think you have no idea of today's topic. Today, we are going to tackle all about elements and compounds. In this topic, we will going to discover the following. What are elements? What are compounds? How are elements and compounds present in our daily lives? Everything that you see using your naked eye, and even those you smell or feel, are classified as matter. Matter is defined as anything that has mass and take up space, and is made up of combined composition that can be categorized as mixtures or pure substances. Mixture are a result of physically combined substances, while pure substances are substances that will always have the same composition. An example of mixture is the salt water. It is a mixture because the salt and water are physically combined together. However, looking at the salt and water separately, they are classified as pure substances. That is because we can never physically combine any substance in order to create water and salt. They were or are water and salt even before you and I existed. Pure substances can be classified as an element or a compound. What are these two? Are you now ready to explore? Let's go! Let's begin with the simplest form of pure substances, the elements. The universe our planet, and even ourselves, are made up of the simplest matter called elements. We just don't notice them because not all elements can be seen by our naked eye. Just like the alphabet that serve as the backbone of words and sentences. Elements are the basis of all living and non-living things. The water used in drinking, cleaning, and many other kind of stuff are made up of two elements, namely hydrogen and oxygen. Our planet's atmosphere is made up of various elements, namely oxygen, nitrogen, argon, carbon dioxide, and other elements. The Earth's crust as well is made up of many other elements such as oxygen, silicon, aluminum, iron, calcium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, and other elements. At present, there are 118 recorded elements in the periodic table, and they are represented 
in symbols. Hmm. How did the scientist come up with this? Symbol of elements are always uppercase, just like I for iodine, O for oxygen, C for carbon. If it is two letter format, uppercase is followed by a lowercase letter, like AG for sulfur, CA for calcium, BA for barium. You will notice that some of symbols are derived from the first letter of an English name of the element, such as I for iodine, C for carbon. O for oxygen. But some symbols are derived from its Greek or Latin origins, such as AU from aurum, which means shining dawn for gold, CU from cuprum, which means Metal from Cyprus for copper. AJ from Argentum, which means shiny or white for silver. Now, it's time for fact, fact, fact. Did you know that you and I have element components inside our body, such as calcium in our bone, iron in our hemoglobin. These hemoglobin are stored in our bone streams and liver. And iodine in our thyroid glands, which important in our metabolism. These and more are the reason why these different elements are written in the labels of the multivitamins. Those are the elements. Now, let's proceed to the next category of the pure substances, which is the compounds. Unlike the elements, compounds are pure substances made up of two or more combined elements. Take the cigarette smoke as the example. Smoke is a compound composed of one carbon atom and one oxygen atom, which is called as carbon monoxide. Water is a compound composed of two hydrogen and one oxygen, which is why it is called as H2O. Next is table salt. Salt is a compound made up of one sodium and one chlorine. Vinegar is a compound composed of two carbon four hydrogen atoms, and two oxygen atoms. Now it's time for brain check. Try to distinguish if the following items I'm going to show you are an element or a compound. Ready? Let's go! Copper Table Sugar Diamond
salt. Neon gas. Pure water. Aluminum. Silver. If you answered everything correctly, then you did a great job. That was splendid. Today, we are able to learn that pure substances can be an element or a compound. Elements are simply as pure substance. Elements can be found on Earth's atmosphere, crust, and even inside our bodies. Compounds are pure substances that are chemically combined elements. And finally, compounds can be found in our everyday lives such as water, smoke, table salt, and sugar. Dun dun dun. I hope you learned a lot today and join me for our next delightful exploration and together let us discover around us because science is everywhere. I am Teacher John from Senior High School Department. God bless and mabuhay. Bye!